We're actually sailing north at the moment, up the French coast, in the English Channel. Now, it sounds a bit strange to imagine that, because you think the coast's trending east and west. Well, it does, until you get right into the far eastern corner by Dieppe. From Dieppe, the coast trends in towards the end of a great big row of cliffs that come all the way from the half, and then it goes north up to Boulogne and Dover. So we're now heading north up towards the Dover Strait. And a remarkable thing happens to the tide here. When you think about the tide, it ebbs and flows, doesn't it? Twice a day, so you're going to get about six hours of one and six hours of the other. But something strange happens in the Dover Strait. It's easy to imagine that the sort of turn point between the tides of the English Channel and the tides of the North Sea would be at Dover. But they're not. They're actually at Dungeness, which is about 20 miles west of Dover on our side of the channel, and down here they turn rather indeterminately in this huge bay. The effect of this is, if you're going up towards Dover and the North Sea and you time it right, you can actually get almost nine hours of fair tide. Um, in a trade we call it a gravy train, and that's what we're sitting on at the moment. We're sailing along in a gentle beam wind, uh, we're making probably about five knots through the water I should think, and we're doing, um, oh, we're doing 6.3 over the ground now, and that'll do nicely. That's going to go on. 11 o'clock now, that, we've had that for an hour, it's going to go on until 5 or 6 o'clock tonight. It's absolute bliss, it's the easiest way to sail in the world. The wind's easterly, coming off the shore, the sea's flat as a pancake. Over there, where the cliffs stop, is the mouth of the River Somme, where it all happened so dreadfully, so long ago. A remarkable place, the Somme. You can go in there on the top of a big tide and go up to a place called St Valery, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to press on up towards the Strait of Dover and the big North Sea. Then, if all goes well, I'm going to sign on my daughter and her husband and my little grandson and we're going to sail all the way up the Thames to London like the great clippers were towed up there on the tea races. So, that's the next job I think, but for now I'm going to sign off and trim mid-Genoa.